Hello, hello, I am back with another video. And today, the purpose of this particular video is to talk about a few things that men laugh at women about. This is gonna be real, real short. I didn't write down any notes for this video, so it's coming straight from my head. I just wanted to make sure that I did two videos today because I'm trying to get, um, get to the end of all of the topics that I wanna discuss. Okay. So men laugh at you about these things. And I'm saying this based upon knowing a lot of men in the physical reality. <laughs> I'm saying based upon what I've seen and what I've heard and gathered because you know I've been collecting data. I'm the type of person, you know how I tell y'all we're all in the physical reality collecting data to bring back to source energy because source energy gonna become greater, you know? Well, guess what, this is this, this, this my thought process. Don't try to destroy it because I created my own reality. I'm just sharing it with you. I'm here in the physical reality and I'm just going to be create, um, collecting data. I'm going to collect so much data that when <laughs> this physical avatar times out and it's no more, I'm going to be like, look here. I don't do this, 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 this. I want my keys to walk into other dimensions at free will. I don't want to go back into that body thing. No, I did that already. I done loved, I done hate, I done gave. I was, I did corporate America. I did my own business. <laughs> I did the perm, hair, the jerry curl hair, and the natural hair. I did the, the, the unhealthy food, and I did the healthy food. I made body butters for people, and I put on toxic of body butters at one point. I did religion, and I did consciousness. I did it all. I was married, and I divorced. And I helped people man, through marriage and through divorce. <laughs> I was an introverted person, and then I began to talk. You know, I, I wrote a book and then I wrote another one. I just want to be able to collect all the data, all the experiences that I can possibly collect. This is just my idea. I give it to Source and tell Source, look, look, look. Either let me in other dimensions or just let me be a little star, twinkle, twinkle. Just none of that contained to body stuff because I just want to be free. <laughs> so anyway, just thought I'd share that. So, back to the video. <laughs> Some things that men laugh at us about. And I'm just saying that's because I'm going to just go ahead on and throw that in because I don't want to say you and just try to attack. You know, so I'm going to say us. I feel like they laugh at us when we really get so fixed on that fairy tale. Happily ever after. Not only do I feel like as though they laugh at us about their little love things. <laughs> I, try, I, I feel as though they try to take advantage of us in that vulnerable state to be. I feel like life is what you make it. Your marriage, your relationship or whatever it is, is going to be what you make it. But when we're like, for example, like watching, you know, mushy movies or whatever, it's it's, it's often seemingly funny to them because they don't they don't look at situations like we do from the heart because they're more logical you know and we're the more emotional ones I feel like <laughs> they laugh at us like if we are in one of those type of unhealthy relationships where they're playing the game on us they're laughing at us because they're laughing at the fact that we don't know the game or at least they think we don't because I do <laughs> they secretly laugh they secretly laugh at the fact that you know maybe maybe they'll have you in rotation or something like that they laugh when um, you're in rotation and, and you're, you've been waiting for maybe your turn or something you know <laughs> they secretly laugh at those things like man yeah yeah man, man I got it or even if you're so emotional when you're not in the relationship but you're still emotionally invested in it and if he can trigger you maybe y'all have a child together or something like that and he could trigger you and say I ain't coming to get Junior this weekend or whatever he could trigger you and now you're sending chapters and chapters of text messages via um, cell phone I believe that they laugh at you for that and they show that type of stuff to their little friends sometimes to talk about you know, it's, 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 it's seemingly a gain to some of them, especially if that they're, if they're at their lower self. 
And last but not least, I really wanted to share this one more than anything. I feel like men laugh at women. It's kind of like the first one. I feel as though they laugh at women when a woman is so gun ho about this one person and she calls this person her, her soulmate or her twin flame. I believe that they laugh at that particular idea that you think that there's one person for you in the physical reality in a multi-dimensional world full of abundance full of beings full of energy believing that there's one is limiting yourself I believe that they laugh at you and, and I question I question some women too big about this because if you're on a frequency where you're like oh my gosh he's my soulmate but he's married and and i can feel that he's having sex with his wife right now and but he really loves me and oh my gosh i just can't take it i'm feeling him to the core he needs me we need to be connected we're soulmates some of those things don't be sounding too healthy and and, and i don't laugh at them but i do question the mental stability there because oftentimes what all of these things are doing is depriving you of that logical state of being this is another reason why i believe that relationships are so important because men bring that logical peace they bring that balance and if you spend so much time without that logical peace you could become an emotionally crazy person And so, even though I believe, I wholeheartedly believe in the so-called twin flame, I believe it to be the person who you're going to be reunited, re, reunited with through marriage, through a union, and through something healthy. But not through something where you can be taking somebody else's van and feeling them in the middle of the debate. Why would Source Energy let you experience something that is not yours before it is time no god so it's energy hmm. it's a god of order and instruction and so purposely you're not going to meet that person until you are ready until you on that frequency going to be no if ands but about it this person can be living on the corner on your same street and you will never ever experience them in the physical reality until you vibrate on that frequency and then go walking yourself on the same frequency down that street and then he outside and then you meet him and then you're like well, man it's crazy I haven't Been seeing you all these years, but I've been back here for 20 years. All the while, Source Energy was preparing you to meet that person. You see, so I didn't want to get that deep into the soul, I mean, the twin flame type union. I didn't, but what I did want to get in just to the emotional side of some of the things that men I've seen laugh at women about. And if you pay attention to those little three things that I share, they have everything to do with your emotions. Everything. Because when your emotions are so chaotic, a man from a logical standpoint, standpoint thinks that that is the funniest thing. Like she 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 bugging man she bugging she tripping man look at her look at this it is so funny just like you 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 get you probably don't laugh but you get at all if something really emotional happens and you looking at a man who's very logical 
that might say, oh yeah, ain't got nothing to do with me. I'm going to work. And you're like, oh my gosh, what is wrong with you? Because we hold different sides, experiencing things differently, but together we bring balance to one another. So on this video, I'm talking about emotions so that you can learn how to balance yours to a place where you're not being laughed at. You're being appreciated. You're being appreciated for the divine feminine that you bring and that you show him. That's a more healthier place to be because ladies are not a joke. Your emotions should not be a joke. I laughed at. It should be balanced, healthy. This video was from my heart to yours, babe. Be blessed.